Hello, welcome back in this tutorial series of Visual Studio 360 again. Today we will create such kind of object with the help of various commands available in Visual Studio 360. For that, let's look at this. As you can see over here, that we have to draw a rectangle of 390 by 300. For that, go to New Design. Select this. Create a sketch. Select this bottom plane. Select this one. Select the center rectangle. And As you can see, we have created rectangle of 300 by 391. After creating this, this rectangle, we will create one more rectangle. Select this center rectangle and this, the dimension of this rectangle is 260 by 3. You can see we have created two rectangles. Now we will provide some fillet to these edges. Of 70 mm. Is Also, we will provide fillet here. This. Then that's okay. After this, now we will finish this sketch. Now we will extrude this file to thickness of 3.5 mm after providing the thickness to this profile here to 3.5 now we will extrude this profile This thirty three point and provide a tapper angle of minus ten degree. So as you can see, we have created such kind of object. After creating this object, we will select this shell command, select this one, provide the thickness of 3.5, that's ok. So as you can see, we have created such kind of object. Now, for providing such kind of holes, that like this all command and provide here so the dimension of the hole is 70 mm now provide the references for that this is at the center so here I so here I provide 195 and the next reference is this one. Here I will provide as you can see we have created such kind of hole here. Now press OK. After that, let this pattern command. We will create a rectangular pattern. From here we can select feature body. To patternize this hole, we have to choose this feature and it will ask about the object. So this is all this hole is our object. Now access axis is this. So we have to create six holes. 
I use here six holes. And another direction we will. We have to provide nine holes, so here I provide nine. And from here I will select metric. As you can see, we have created such kind of holes. That is. After that, we have to. Provide some physical material to this particular tray. For that, we have selected this physical material. From here, we can provide panelless steel and press. So, such kind of tray we can create with the help of rectangle command, fillet command, pattern command and shell command thank you for watching my videos kindly subscribe my channel